Opening, closing. I know you guys can hear the sound. What's up you guys welcome back to my youtube channel this is kid jeff jake signing in i highly appreciate every single one of you guys returning back to the channel with that said you guys are beautiful and amazing <laughs> all right you guys so today i'm actually here with my bmw 335i n54 with that if you guys have an e90 or e92 and your beeping sound for the alarm went off so like when you lock it it doesn't beep anymore i'm gonna show you guys on how to fix that it is really really easy and fast and for that reason i'm making this video is because when i was looking for a resolution on youtube on google on yahoo on any search engine i couldn't find no resolution so today i'm gonna help many many bmw owners on how to get that locking beeping sound back i'm gonna troubleshoot it first for you guys sometimes when you try to lock the car the alarm won't go off or the beeping sound won't go off due to the trunk due to the hood or due to the gas door so with that you got to make sure every single thing is closed close it everything is closed try your alarm one more time there you go it's working already i hear the beep i love that and then after that i'm gonna show you guys that mine doesn't work i'm gonna fix it right on the spot after that i am gonna show you guys the fuse box diagram and remember the diagram will be for the e92 e90 m54 twin turbo bmw 335i and hopefully it helps other beamers as well but hopefully this video helped you guys on how to get your locking beeping sound back so with that you guys let's get ready and let's check this out all right so i'm gonna bring my keys out so i am gonna lock the car by pressing the lock button right i'm gonna open it and lock it so I'm opening it and locking it. You can't hear no beeping sound. You can't hear no noise. You can't hear nothing, right? So with that, we are going to fix that problem for you guys. I have the resolution that you guys been wanting and looking for since there's no videos on YouTube on how to fix your BMW beeping locking sound when you open it or when you close it. It's really, really easy. So with that, you guys, I am going to show you right now. So now what you are going to do is grab your ignition key, which is right here, you guys. This is what it looks like. It's supposed to come with a spare key. Look, check it out. This is in case if your battery dies and you can't get access to your BMW, this is what's gonna help you. So the first thing you are going to do is lock the car. So with that, you're not gonna open it with the alarm key. You are gonna open it and use your spare key. And look how this works. This is so easy. Check this out, okay? You're gonna put it in here. You're gonna twist it. There you go, you guys. I know you guys heard that beeping sound. We are gonna put the spare key back to the alarm. Like, check this out. I'm gonna press it and like, hear the sound. There you go, you heard that? Look, like, check it out. So do you guys hear that? So now that you already seen on how to open it, if that doesn't work, the second step is if that's not working, your fuse might be dead. Just don't go and purchase any type of fuse. They actually are numbered. I'm going to go to the fuse box and show you guys what number the alarm is in. And with that, you guys could check it out. So what you do, you go to the passenger seat. You open the glove department box. It's right here, you guys. Let's check it out. So with that, you open it. From the sides you twist them both of them and then it should fall off that's the fuses right there color coded numbered before you actually purchase a fuse make sure you guys run a diagnostic on every single fuse so you're looking at the fuse box and you are confused you don't know what's what so this right here is a small booklet of the index fuses i am going to show you guys the diagram and i'm going to let you guys know which one is the alarm fuse and then you got to go to the fuse box and look for it bring it out if it's not working this right here is the diagram every single number every single fuse you guys have so it is going to be on an m54 335i 54 and 62 which this little symbol is the alarm locking sound so with that you guys make sure you guys actually buy 54 62 and then you look for it here in your fuse box and after you identify it you bring it out with that you guys already know on what to look for and what to change if your bmw alarm system is not working so what we are going to do for the last time is put it to a test so i'm going to lock it there you go sounds so so amazing and then i'm gonna open it from the inside so you can hear the alarm actually work so there you go the alarm actually works after all so with that i showed you guys the diagram i showed you guys on how to fix your alarm fuse box so hopefully i was helpful so give this video a thumbs up do not forget to catch up on the rest of my videos i highly appreciate the support thank you so much you guys are beautiful and amazing you guys do not forget you guys already know what time it is this is kid jeff j signing out until the next time beep, beep, beep,